Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's who I am, and that's what this is, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here. Presumably. If you're just joining us, uh, this week I am reacting to the brand new, just released, new Ninja Sex Party song, I Own a Car. Uh, this is a new animated video by Shuchiru, uh, and it, a song from NSP's upcoming new album, which will be coming out later this year. If this is your first time joining me, hello, yes, welcome. I try to react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does comedy music themselves. Sometimes that means analyzing jokes, talking about how the video works with the song in order to elevate the lyrics, and sometimes it's just sitting back and laughing at the song. It's a crapshoot what you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. Also, if this is your first time joining us, I do pause quite frequently so that I can discuss the song, so that I can give my reaction, and so that I don't miss any lyrics by doing so. I pause so that I don't miss those, because it's a comedy song, and comedy song lyrics are important. That's usually where the comedy is. Anyway. Before uh, we get all of that out of the way, please, if you like this sort of content, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these videos early, get to hear my music early, get all sorts of other cool perks. It's a good time over there. Anyway, without any further ado, let's dive into the new NSP. I own a car. This is not a song that we heard on the recent tour, so I'm very excited to experience this. I love NSP, obviously. I also produced an NSP tribute album uh, back a couple years ago. It, it, it's, it's a thing. You can find it online now. It's called Above the Covers. Regardless, here we go. I love that it's in like the old like uh four three aspect ratio. Like it's an eighties video. That's good stuff. Ooh. And the it it had a, a thing about the, the album title there. Ninja Sex Party, I own a car, these nuts is the name of the next NSP album. Okay. Got a groove. Oh, sorry to interrupt your beach party, everyone. Just thought I'd stop by with my car. <laughs> Four wheels, one key. I must be truly blessed. Life is a school and I'm passing the test. <laughs> Number one, we've got a very obvious... Huey Lewis in the News kind of vibe going with this. Very 80s. Very, very fun. Uh, life is school and I'm passing the test. Got an F on the paper, but wrote fantastic after it. So it says it's not an F, it's fantastic. That's genius. Shuchiru's animation here, once again, being super expressive and vibrant. Um using a lot of pastels in this to kind of further that 80s vibe. Digging it. Digging it a lot. Just describing the car. Four functional seats and two headlights. Pedals I can push with my feet. It's almost... Like, that's the beauty of, of comedy songs, in my personal estimation, is that you can make a song about literally anything for comedy. Uh, I, I've said this before, you can have a love song in any genre, but only in comedy music can your love song be your love for a taco. You know, so having this kind of descriptor, the way that Danny's describing the car in this reminds me very much of an 80s Weird Al song, and that is a very high compliment. Uh, just 
the amount of silly things that you would describe a car having. You know, usually one would describe the engine or the, the make or model and the, the perks that it has, not seats and pedals and headlights. Comedy. Yes, I know explaining a joke kind of sometimes ruins the joke, but that's the point of this show. I have people who are non-English speakers who comment on my videos who say they appreciate my explanations, and that's why I do them, so... Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, continuing. It's AM, not, not AM, FM, just AM, which is usually talk radio. Um, and it kicks you in the ass, turn down the treble and kick up the bass. It's supposed to be bass. Bass is a fish. They're spelled the same way, similes, or uh, not similes, uh, hom homophones, words that are uh, spelled the same way but pronounced differently and have different meanings. Uh, I think that's the right thing. I, I could be confused. I've had a headache for two weeks, y'all. Today has been, like, the first good day so that I can record this, so pardon me if I get some words wrong, but that whole section right there reminded me so much of UHF by Weird Al. Uh, crank up the volume and yank off the knob. That, that, that section there reminded me of, of that piece in that song. This is amazing. Everybody obviously is dumbfounded as to why he's describing a car this way, let alone this clearly piece of shit car. Uh, also, hey, shout out to Adam Sandler's song from years ago. Car songs. That's a comedy thing. It's got two different, it's got three different license plates. The first license plate said, wow, a car. Now it says, uh, Danny sucks and Ninja Brian rules. Danny sucks on the front, NB rules on the back. Uh, yeah, Dan sucks, but Ninja Brian rules, NB rules, just chef's kiss. <laughs> NSP good. <laughs> I own a car woman, and the one lady there goes, oh, he's talking to me. So good. So funny. <laughs> cup holder holds anything as long as it's a cup. God damn. <laughs> put a, put a, a wine glass. The beige, the coolest color a human can handle. Thank God you're sitting down. Whole, the, the coolest kind of brown. And yet, in the video, the car is gray. Uh, <laughs> just amazing. Yeah, like, I've said this before, but especially with, with the most recent stuff NSP has done, working with Twerp, they're pastiches are getting amazingly accurate. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about from the last album is an amazing queen pastiche and just a perfect sound alike. Pastiche, for those unfamiliar, is kind of a fancy way of saying style parody, meaning it's parodying the style of a particular artist's sound without directly parodying one specific song. Weird Al does pastiches all the time. Uh, Weird Al does direct parodies, and on half of his albums it's parodies, and half of his albums are originals, and those originals tend to be style parodies or pastiches of other artists. Dare to be Stupid, for example, is a pastiche of Devo without being a direct parody of any of their songs. Uh, this is very much a Huey Lewis in the News uh, pastiche, very 80s sounding, 
and uh, and and the more that they work with twerp and the more they get into the groove of trying to sound like other artists while still remaining wholly unique is improving tenfold uh, on the last starbomb album uh, they did some amazing pastiches welcome to the mario party is uh, like this amazing Nate Dogg, Warren G, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre groove happening. So, yeah, they're doing excellent work with this kind of stuff. Uh, and, and with every album that NSP and Twerp work together on, we're getting some amazing sound alikes. And I'm really, as a child of the 80s, I'm digging the shit out of this. Uh, every person that uh, Ninja Brian just ran over is a member of Twerp, so bringing it right back to what I was just talking about, and watching Amazement as stuff gets more near, as he's about to run over Danny Sexbang. Cool. Ironic. Who needs a license when you've got a car? Everyone. That you you're not supposed to drive a car without a license. That's that's the whole purpose of the license. And obviously that's the joke. But explaining jokes is fun for me. I know it I know it ruins things for some people, but shut up. It's on a green screen. <laughs> well, with the, I missed what he said. I own a car, you turkeys. <laughs> I own a car, you turkeys. <laughs> yeah, the engine is, is a mystery, and no one knows how it works. I own a car. Ninja Brian bringing out the only thing he knows how to operate, a knife. Brilliant. Mad Max going, oh, yes. We've got the Doof Warrior from uh, Mad Max Fury Road, and it's, of course, Ninja Brian with a keytar. What else could it be? <laughs> Danny going shiny and chrome, and they're driving up on a on a carnival with the bouncy castle. This can only be good things. <laughs> they got arrested at it. They were like, "Yay, bouncy castle!" Oh, arrested. Oh, <laughs> damn with the. Just, just simply great. Just a funny line. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> the boys guess that much faster than I thought that they would guess. Wow, man. Like, it's just... There's something so amazing about writing stupid stuff smartly. And NSP does that beautifully. It's a dumb joke. It's a joke that realizes that it's completely self-aware, but writing it so perfectly that you the self-awareness is the comedy based on what the, the expectation of the singer was always floors me. That's the thing I love about NSP. As, as a, a performer and writer of comedy songs myself, usually in comedy songs, uh, the person who's singing, the narrator, is different dependent on the song. Uh, you know, Weird Al does... does I, I keep bringing up Weird Al because it's the most known comedy artist, but he'll do a song like The Saga Begins, where he's clearly singing as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or I Want a New Duck, as you know, Huey Lewis parody, uh, as someone who owns, wants to own a duck, but that's not necessarily Al Yankovic. So all the narrators change in every song. You know, Jurassic Park, it's somebody visiting the park. But 
with Ninja Sex Party, every single song is sung by Danny Sexbang. Danny Sexbang is the character that Dan Avedon plays, but to have that through line be so consistent through, what at this point, six comedy albums, not including cover albums and live albums and stuff, and, 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 and the, the remake album of Level Up, the, you know, six comedy albums, consistently always the same narrator, having that same character tell you everything, it's an amazing thing to witness, number one, as a person who loves comedy music and who does it, but also as somebody who does comedy music, maintaining that for so long, absolutely incredible. Having such a well-defined character be the person who always does your songs, always is the narrator, incredible. Uh, and of course now my camera's battery is running low, so I'm pausing. And we're back. Sorry about that. Had to plug things in. Anyway, continuing on with this amazing car saga. Only 30 seconds left in the song anyway. What the boys will guess in order. Phone, boat, plane, bird, car. If they go off script, panic. <laughs> Oh man, that's so good. <laughs> I just want to hear it again. Also, I'm trying to catch my breath. I was running. Guess what I own, boys? Is it a phone? No. Is it a car? No. Oh, yes, actually. Boys, is that much faster than a boys would guess I own a car? I own a car. It hit Ninja Brian, who just stopped it, and Dan flew out the front window. Ouch! Oh man, that was... That was absolutely phenomenal. It started over again because I had the button real quick. Because uh, I was expecting there to be a tag at the end ex talking about the new album coming out, but apparently they don't have a date yet, so nothing yet. Um, can't wait. So excited for this album. Um, seriously, NSP, with every single album, with every single song, they keep improving, and they already started out so high. They already started out so amazingly well. Great writing, great production. Uh, the early albums, even though it was like studio musicians and a lot of MIDI stuff, it was still great for you know, the time period and what their facilities were. But now that they've teamed up with Twerp, now that they've teamed up with producer Jim Roach, things are getting infinitely and increasingly better with every album, and I cannot wait to see what the new album brings. I really, really dug the shit out of that. I hope you did too. Anyway, if you did enjoy this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really Want to help the channel out? Consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get their names in the credits like this here, and all sorts of other cool perks like seeing my reactions early, hearing my music early, I have a new album coming out, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Bye.